Riverside Village is um, an opportunity, I think, for North Augusta to um, redefine itself. I describe it as the best place that I've ever lived and worked. Riverside Village, to me, is Augusta's entertainment district. I think that this is really going to be something that is going to set not only North Augusta light years ahead of where they would have been if not. I mean, you're looking at something that probably would have taken, you know, 20, 30 years to get North Augusta to a major city feel. Well, it, if you want to be precise, it started in the late eight, in the early 1890s uh, when uh, James Jackson, the founder of the city of North Augusta, master planned this entire city. Um, most of the people that grew up around here recognize North Augusta as beginning on top of this bluff just off to my left. But everything down here in the river bottom was actually part of the plan then, and actually was part to the extent developed up. Railroad Avenue right here was was part of the plan. This all these street names were part of the original city's master plan. But because of flooding and so forth, the brick manufacturing plants and so forth all sort of floundered. But then in the middle 20th century, when the dams were built upstream and dam downstream, the flooding problem ceased to be, and the city knew in the latter part of that century that if they didn't get their arms around this property, which was in private hands at that time, that it was going to become some private gated community or a golf course or something else that would prevent them from having access to the riverfront that was part of their plan to begin with. So that's when the process began that ultimately translated into what we see here today. I'll never forget, I was three months into this job. I started December, uh, January 2012. I'm three months in, March 2012, my phone rings. It's a guy from Atlanta, a developer, and he told me, he said, I'd like to build a resort hotel in North Augusta and a golf course, and I'd like the city to build a, a conference center, and I want to do it at exit five. And I said, well, that's, that's exciting, and I'm interested in that, but you know, I really think if our city participated in something like that, we would do it on our riverfront. And I'll never forget his next question to me. He said, you have a riverfront? And he was down here two days later and the Project Jackson was born. I'm Jeff Eisman. I'm the president of the Augusta Green Jackets as well as one of the partners in the Augusta Green Jackets. I've been involved with the team for over 10 years and previously under Ripken Baseball, but in 2012, we formed Aegon Sports and Entertainment and created a new group to start this endeavor here in North Augusta. This has really been a labor of love. This is something that has been needed for so long. Many people still don't understand why it's needed, but I think once we get people to this site, even while it's under you know a third of its construction phase, you can already see how different this is from Lake Olmsted and what this can be and what this will be. Right, and you'll see that behind me is and across the street are two great restaurants, which you're aware of. There's another really great restaurant down the street. There's a salon and offices over here. And then in our town center, which we're calling Riverside Village, is a very dynamic town center, which effectively translates into downtown North Augusta just terminating at the river. And it's going to, and, it, and what that means is everything that we have here, all the basic consumer needs, um, all of the recreational needs, parks. We have a foundation so that, that provides, that's funded not through donations, but through transfer fees on properties, which ensures that the arts community is very much ingrained in here. We have an organic farm, which provides produce and food to the restaurants. You know, it, it, it's, it's everything you need. Well, the river, you know, is the driving factor to this. I mean, our council, you know, over 25 years ago, recognized that this city's asset is that riverfront. And so as they began acquiring that land, I mean, this was the investment that North Augusta was putting in its future. Um, that river just makes people want to be there. Um, you know, I could argue that we could replicate Riverside Village in another place that doesn't have a river and it's not the same. It's just not. Um, there's something about water, there's something about the peaceful nature of it 
that people just want, they're drawn to it. And, um, and I think it, it plays a big part into that atmosphere that I think is created down there. It's, um, you know, this is a retail development. Um, there's going to be people down there, there's going to be cars, but there's a tranquility aspect to it too that, that um, I think just draws people. Uh, the green space, the parks, um, you know, it's, it's not necessarily that you have to go down there to shop. I mean, you know, you, if you go to a mall, you're going there to shop. This is not necessarily to go to Riverside Village. You may just want to go and put out a blanket on the green space by the river and just lay there. One of the things that they're going to notice just from a Green Jackets perspective is the experience here will be on parallel. One, all the seating is very intimate. It's all theater style seats with cup holders. We have some very dynamic seating areas in here with the enclosed club space and the suites. But we'll have over a million dollars worth of LED display technology in this building that are going to give people a transformational baseball experience or a transformational sporting event experience that they can't get anywhere if they drove two hours in any direction. What it means for us is that it's not just the last generations that are going to experience Green Jacket baseball. It means that for many, many generations, your children, your children's children, they're all going to be able to experience not only this ballpark, but seeing professional baseball continue to exist here for hopefully the next hundred years. We don't plan on going anywhere. This is home and we wanted to build it right and do it right from day one. So this isn't a place where you're like in 20 years, you're scratching your head going, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. This was designed, this is one of the few sports facilities in this metro region that has been designed with the thought of long-term in mind and how we were going to do it. Legacy is extremely important. We wanted to create a place that could have an impact on this community that goes beyond five or 10 years. This is something that we're building to make something great right here. If you've listened to some of the interviews with Jeff Eisman, he's talked about it being an event center and not a baseball stadium per se. So his goal and our goal is to help him achieve his goal and that is to get as many events in there. I mean, you know, there's you're looking at 80 baseball games a year roughly, um, maybe a little less, depends on the playoffs and that kind of stuff. Um, but as you've seen, the first baseball game is going to be Georgia versus Clemson. Um, there's already talks of co uh, concerts, Masters Week, that are potentially going to happen, um, and that will continue. And Jeff has talked about everything from ice skating in the winter to just – he's had he's got a lot of great ideas, and obviously we've got some ideas to bring to the table, and we want to see that place, you know, having events as much as possible and have it be a true center of the community. Definitely. I think in, in, in a lot of different stadiums you see – bigger acts we we don't really have this space besides you know lady a to kind of get those those tier one type acts um but with a stadium of this caliber and to be able to have you know vendors that are in there restaurants that are in there like us um only makes it easier um for and more attractive for these acts to come play um in augusta and i think greenstone with their involvement in music with the, the Georgia Theater or Variety or Terminal West. Um, it's, you know, it's very coincidental that, you know, we're in together with a, a group that is, you know, doing the project that's involved in music, that's Sweetwater's that's involved in music. So I feel like this is a, the, this little trifecta that, that we could all work together and, and really get some, some, some major acts here. I don't think you could um, even talk about this project if you didn't talk about uh, the two mayors that we've had during this time and our city council. I think you could use this as a model nationally. I mean, our, our city had a vision, our leaders bought into it, and they were united. And even the folks that weren't united still supported it once they made their their uh, ideas and opposition known and that's what we're lacking in this country right now uh, the ability to uh, unite after the fact and um, I think this has just been a fantastic model of that.